Hey, what up squad? It's your boy KFlow. In this video, we're going to be removing the headliner and cutting out those deployed airbags. Now let's get this thing started. <laughs> so this is part two of getting the taco back onto the road, guys. And if you're new to this series, let's just say things went sideways on my last adventure. So this series is to fix the truck and make things better. And just to give you guys a quick recap of some of the progress we've done already. In part one, we removed the seat belts and the side curtain airbag module. So in this video, we're going to be removing the headliner and the side curtain airbags. Now let's get to work guys. Now let's remove this A pillar trim guys. First, we'll remove this handle. We'll use a flathead screwdriver to pop these out. Then we can use a 10 millimeter socket to undo the screws here. Now we should be able to pull this off completely away from the eight pillar. Now it would be a good idea to feed the screws back into the mounting points. It'll be good to work from the front of the truck towards the back. Now we can remove this visor guys. This just requires two Phillips head screws. And just like before, I'm threading the screws back in so we don't lose them. Now this bracket of the visor, all we have to do is grab it and turn it counterclockwise by about 90 degrees and this thing should come right off. And now we can remove this plastic assembly up here. First, we'll open up the sunglass container and there's a Phillips head screwdriver that we just undo right there. At this point, we can just pull the front end of it and it should just pop right out. Just don't pull it out yet completely since there are wiring harnesses we have to disconnect. And those are the two wiring harnesses, guys. All it is is we need to push down on the top here and this pulls right out. And here's a better look at those wiring harnesses, guys. So you can see it's just locked by that little tab up top. Same with this one, there's that little tab right there. And now we could take this SRS side curtain airbag cover so we'll have to use a pry tool to open it up from the top. And then use a 10 millimeter socket to remove this. So now let's work on removing this dome light, guys. Mine is a little bit different because I do have those panels, those LED panels. That's why they're so bright. I do highlight them in one of my videos. So you can make sure you check that out. But this, this just requires a flathead on the one side to pop it out, just like that. I'm gonna remove the dome light itself and the panels. Right now they're just taped on there. And we can twist this 90 degrees and also pop this cover out. We'll pull it out from the passenger side first, pop out the one side. There is a harness on the light, so I'll remove that right now. Same thing guys, there's a little tab. You have to press down up top and this whole thing just pushes right out. So now we can remove this rear grab handle guys. 
this Ford portion, this cover here actually ended up breaking off a long while ago. Well, all you had to do is jam a screwdriver in there and then pry it off and it just opens like a clam. So I'll do that on the opposite side. Just like that. I will use a 10 millimeter socket to remove those screws. So now we can remove this little hanger. And all it is is the same thing, we turn it 90 degrees. And it might be locked up, so we take our pry tool to push against the top here, unlock it, and then we should be able to rotate it 90 degrees. Just like that, and it slides right off. The whole headliner is free at this point, but we don't want to pull it out yet. We actually have to remove the wires that powers the dome light. So I moved both seats as far forward as I can, and now we'll just slowly push down on the headliner itself. It's a bit tough to film guys, but I pulled it down slightly more. As you can see, there, there's wires that run across the top there for the dome light. So we'll just have to peel up the tape and then remove that wire from the top of the headliner. Now let's see if we can pull this out without damaging the headliner too much. So I did end up folding the headliner in half for the back in order to pull it out like this without damaging it too much. So here's the airbag fully exposed guys and I'll just cut it from the fabric because I'm not sure which brackets I'm going to be reusing or not yet at this point until those new airbags come in. So here's a better look at those wires guys. I'll probably tape them to the ceiling for now so they are not in the way as I'm working on the truck. As you can see, you got a ton of snow here. Quite annoying to have to work with all this snow and ice still. That's pretty much it for this video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and hit that bell too while you're at it. And until next time, peace.